here is a story using a whole deck of cards. It's about two fellows who haven't met in a long time. Sam Spade and Joe Diamond. They meet on the street. They haven't seen each other in years. And Sam says to Joe, why don't we have a party? And Sam says, all right, I'll go out and I'll try to find some people for the party, okay? So Sam goes out and he goes up 6th Avenue, 5th Avenue, 4th Avenue, 3rd Avenue, and he finally comes back. And Joe says to him, did you find anybody for the party? He says, yeah, I found four great guys, the four Jack brothers. He said, terrific. That's great. In fact, it's so good, I'm going to give you a $2 tip. So he gives him a $2 tip, and the party's going along great. And Sam says to Joe, you know, we could use some girls for the party. Why don't you go out and look for some girls? So he says, okay, I'll go out and look for some girls. So he goes out, and he goes up about eight blocks to 7th Avenue. Then he goes up to 5th Avenue, and he's still looking for girls. And he finally comes back, and Sam says to Joe, did you find anybody, any girls for the party? He says, yeah, I found four great women, the four Queen sisters. He said, terrific, here's a $2 tip. So the party's going along great. But Sam says to Joe, you know, we need some booze. We've got no booze for this party. We're running out of booze. So he says, okay, I'll go out and I'll look for some people. I'll look for some, some booze and we'll go find a liquor store or something, see if I can't find some booze. So he goes out. He goes up Fifth Avenue, Fourth Avenue, and comes back. He said, I found some great booze for the party. This is really good scotch. It's Canadian Ace. He said, terrific. Here's a $2 tip. And Sam and Sam and Joe are having a great time, the people are having a great time, and the booze is flowing. And then Sam says to Joe, you know, people start to leave, we better go find somebody to clean up the party. So he says, no problem, I'll go out and I'll find somebody. All right, so he goes out, and he starts traveling around the neighborhood looking for people to clean up the party. Okay, and he goes up 8th Avenue, 7th Avenue, makes a left on 5th Avenue, and comes back. He said, did you find anybody to clean up? He says, yeah, I found some great guys. These are really good domestic helps. The King Brothers. Okay? He said, terrific. Here's a $2 tip. Okay? So Sam and Joe are watching the party and everybody leaving. He sees the King's brother starting to clean up. He says, uh, you got any money? He says, yeah. He says, well, we've got to pay the King Brothers. Says, How much you got? He says, I got a five and two tens. What do you got? He says, I got a ten and two fives. So they pay the King Brothers. The King Brothers leave. Sam says to Joe, he says, he says, Joe, you, um, how old are you? He says, he says, I'm 43. He says, you don't look a day over 34. He says, you got any kids? I says, yeah, I got 10. He says, I got four boys and six sweetheart girls. He says, that's terrific. He says, let me ask you another question. You ever go to Vegas? He goes seven or eight times a year. He says, what's the name of the club you go to when you go to Vegas? He says, I can never remember. It's the 678 Club or the 876 Club. But let me tell you a little story. I went to Vegas the last time, and the dealer dealt me four nines. When you know it, he beats me with a straight flush. And that's the story of Sam Spade and Joe Diamond. Now, how does the trick work? Well, you automatically reset. After you tell a story, you automatically reset if you lay the cards down correctly. All right, you start off with four jacks from top to bottom, and a deuce, four queens, and a deuce, four aces, and a deuce, four kings, and a deuce, a ten and two fives, I'm sorry, five and two tens, a ten and two fives, a forty-three, 34, 10 boys, 4 boys, six, um, 10 kids, 4 boys, 6 sweetheart girls. I get to Vegas 7 or 8 times a year. The club that I go to, I can never remember, is either a 6, 7, 8 club or the 8, 7, 6 club. And uh, one time the dealer dealt me 4 nines. I want you to know what he beat me with a straight flush. That's what you got. All you got to do is remember the story and the sequence of the cards. 
So, Sam Spade and Joe Diamond meet on the street. They haven't seen each other in years. Sam says to Joe, why don't you go out and get some people for the party? So now you take the three, which is Joe Diamond, put them on the bottom. Okay, grab some cards, put them on top. Doesn't matter how many. I usually put maybe eight or nine cards on top. And then you just go through and you say, he goes out looking for people for the party, goes up 8th Avenue, 4th Avenue, and comes back. Okay, because we got the 4, 5, 6, 7, which is going to be the straight flush at the end. So when you see the 4, just say he comes back. He says, did you find anybody for the party? Now you've got your setup on the top. Yeah, I found four great guys, the four Jack Brothers. Great, here's a $2 tip. Now you take these, just pile them, put them back on the bottom. Okay, that's your sequence for the uh, end of the trip. The <coughs> cards are not out of order, they're in order. And then the party's going along great, and Sam says to Joe, do you have any, do you think we should get some girls for the party? He says, yeah, let's go get some girls. So Joe goes out. You can put them on top if you want and grab some cards from the bottom, or you can put them on the bottom and grab the whole pile and put them on top. Joe goes out looking for girls for the party. Pull off a few cards, he went up 7th Avenue, went up 5th Avenue, turned on 4 and he came back. Now you can take this pile and put them underneath if you'd like right away. Okay? He says, did you find any, any girls for the party? He says, yeah, I found four queen sisters. Four queen sisters. He says, great, here's a $2 tip. Okay, the party's going along great. Sam says to Joe, we need some booze. All right, and Joe says, all right, I'll go out. Now I'm going to put it on the bottom. I can put it on top. If I put it on the bottom, now I'm going to grab a bunch of cards off the bottom and put them on top. When I get to the three of diamonds, I'm going to stop. And he goes out looking for booze. He goes up 6th Avenue, 5th Avenue, 4th Avenue, comes back. Remember the four. He said, did you find any booze for the party? He says, yeah, I found four bottles of the best scotch you could buy, a Canadian Ace. Great. Terrific. I love Canadian Ace. Here's a $2 tip. This pile, this pile goes back underneath. Okay. He says, uh, the party's going on great. We're having a good time. There's girls, there's guys, okay, and uh, the party's swinging, and he says, uh, but we need somebody to clean up, so uh, why don't you go out and look for some domestic help, see if we can't get this place cleaned up. And he says, sure, I'll go out, now I'm going to put it on the bottom. I could put it on top, I'm going to put it on the bottom, okay, because I want to mix it up, I want it to look a little different. And Okay, I go to put them on the top, I grab a pile from the bottom, and I say, uh, uh, Joe is looking for somebody to clean up. I pull off a pile of cards, put them over here on the side. Did you find anybody to clean up? He says, yeah, I found four great guys, the four King Brothers. Three, four King Brothers. He says, terrific, here's a $2 tip. Okay, now these again go on the bottom. So Sam says to Joe, he says, um, you've got to pay the King Brothers. You got any money? He says, yeah, I got a five and two tenths. He says, great, what do you got? He says, I got a 10 and two fives. So they pay the King Brothers and the King Brothers leave. And then Sam says to Joe, he says, how old are you? He says, I'm 43. He says, you don't look a day over 34. He says, you got any kids? He says, yeah, I got 10. I got four boys and six sweetheart girls. He says, that's great. He says, let me ask you a question. Uh, you ever get to Vegas? He says, seven or eight times a year. He says, what's the name of the club you go to when you go to Vegas? He says, I can remember it's the 678 Club or the 876 Club. But let me tell you a little story. I went to Vegas the last time, and the dealer dealt me four nines. But wouldn't you know it, he beat me with a straight flush. So now, at this point, you're right back where you started from as far as setup is concerned. Just drop those cards back on the top. Take your Sam Spade and Joe Diamond deck uh, cards and put them on the bottom. And you're ready to start the trick again at the next table if you're table hopping. If you want to do that trick at a party. Okay, and that's it. That's the story of Sam Spade and Joe Diamond. I'm going to get up and shut off the camera. You know what? I'm going to uh, I'm going to go through the uh, the card sequence again because maybe I went too fast. It's four jacks, then the deuce. Four queens, 
and the deuce. Four cases. That's the booze and the deuce. Four kings. Those are the cleanup guys. And the deuce. Uh, to pay them, a five and two tens. And a ten and two fives. <coughs> How old are you? I'm 43. He says, you don't look a day over 34. Got any kids? I got ten. I got four boys and six sweetheart girls. Did you ever get to Vegas seven or eight times a year? What's the name of the club you go to when you go to Vegas? And you say, I can't remember if it's the 6-7-A club or the 8-7-6 club. Uh, but when I go, when the last time I went, the dealer dealt me four nines. When you know it, he beat me with a straight flush. Straight flush, I'm sorry. Here you go. Straight flush. And of course, you have the Sam Spade, Joe Diamond, also on the bottom. And that's the trick. Four jacks a deuce, four queens a deuce, uh, four aces a deuce, four kings a deuce, uh, a five and two tens, a ten and two fives. How old are you? 43. Uh, you don't look a day over 34. Uh, you ever get to Vegas seven or eight times a year? I'm sorry, I jumped out of sequence. You got any kids? I got ten. I got four boys and six sweetheart girls. Uh, you ever get to Vegas seven or eight times a year? Uh, what's the name of the club you go to when you go to Vegas? I can't remember if it's the 678 club or the 876 club, but when I went to Vegas the last time, the dealer dealt me four nines, and wouldn't you know it, he beat me with a straight flush. So there you go, that's the trick. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you use it. It's good. It's a great, it's actually not a trick, it's a story, which, you know, for most people, uh, when you do card tricks, they get bored. Here's something that won't bore them to death, and you're using a whole deck of cards. Thank you again. This time I'm really going to shut off the camera.